guess I better start clearing all this up. Right, so I'm just going to stop there for a moment to show you what's what, what's going on. The actual engine's going to stay and live there until it's such time for me to start working on her. It was an absolute nightmare trying to get it around that rear corner gap there. Let's take all the boxes down and uh, jack the bus up to the sketchiest of heights just so I can get it underneath that corner. The bed frame idea actually did work so the heat exchangers would sit on this frame on top of the dolly although it did slide about on top of the dolly um, so the idea now is going to be all the some angle iron in so I can actually sit it within that frame there and it didn't help but the actual wheels of the dolly, the casters the wheels flattened off and um, casters decided to lose their bearings so I've got some new items ordered a bit of a harder wheel I'll get that rectified got some new sheet metal in so I can start work on both the beetle and the bus if I hadn't I run out of gas also got a nice little delivery of uh, a lot of the rear components so I've got the uh, handbrake cables rear backing plates um, all the brake accessories also got the engine tins for the uh, beetle the um, rain runoff tins at the side of the engine bay there and got some nice new drill bits for me to try and extract that uh, wheel cylinder bolt from the rear hub got some left handed bits as well all right let's get round to the rear end show you what's what there we go more and more rust cut out all the time so i'm just starting to clean all these chassis rails down also while i'm in there got this panel made up now that's actually made of three separate pieces of metal and uh, it's a little bit flash rusty where I've been experimenting with a little bit of lead just to fill in the uh, seams so this brace bar that I showed you earlier that I made I'm still yet to find the proper angle of them panels up underneath there so once I get that done I'll be able to weld those gaps up I've looked on a few sites now and you just can't buy this portion of the bus. Looked in all the catalogues, looked on all the websites. You can buy pretty much everything else but you just can't buy this section. So that's why I'm having to go down the road of making it. Now these channels for the engine seal are exactly the same as the channels that I took off the Beetle a little while ago. So I'm going to use the portions that I've got and uh, fill in the pieces. If not, it won't be that hard to make them anyway. There's still some damage on these side trays to um, cut out and make new parts for. I'm just going to go ahead and do the best I can to replace the rotten parts. I mean, these are coming in at 36, 37 pound plus your delivery on top of that. I need two sides and um, it just doesn't warrant me having to cut about and cut it all out I'm just going to cut the small sections out and replace those I've actually found another number buried underneath the paint and the rust there I'm assuming that it uh, mirrors the VIN number of the actual bus itself I don't know what the significance of this perforation is it's like perforated holes that have been stamped into that tinware there save small pieces like that bracket there I've got to weld onto the uh, new section that I made that's just one of the pieces that I've got to make up on the um, passenger side so I've cut that section out with the aim of um, making a template making the new bits go in
So this fuel tank strap bolts have uh, seen better days so I'm going to have to cut them out and weld new items in. to make a little small saving as well there is a company out there that provides all the hardware to um, basically bolt your rear valance onto the back of the bus the removable rear valance so in the kit they include the um, the u-clips which are these little bad boys so it enables you to secure two panels together um, they include all the screws and they also include the four bolts to attach it to the rear of those uh, chassis rails there but um, all in all you're talking about £12 plus your postage I mean I've just spent half of that just ordering some uh, cheese head screws 4.8 by 13 mil and um, some of them new U-clips my bolts were okay at the rear so didn't need them anyway the downside is is that there's still some rot right up underneath there so the whole idea is for me to weld this section in first and then unfortunately I'm just going to have to go in and uh, do little patch repairs up underneath there and seal it the best I can um, you can just see some really thin metal there but lucky enough the section that this bracket's actually tightened down to is okay so that's pretty much it for now. I think I'll get out from underneath this little hole. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just continuing taking the rust down where I can. I mean, once I get the um, power file belts less coarse after taking some metal down, that's when I start using them on these areas, getting that rust off. So that's what I'll be doing next. I'll see you on the next one.